Hey everybody, this is Fran Frischella, draft expert and basketball junkie. To everybody who's watching, let's get our friends at General Manager Games the subscribers they deserve. Just press that red subscriber button and immerse yourself in sports AI through GM Games content. And on Twitter, it's GM underscore games. Let's get after it. Let's go. Hey, everyone. This is Chris at General Manager Games. Now, quick plug for us. General Manager Games is a site, GM Games, where we only cover sports management video games, simulation algorithms around team management. And today, we're going to be covering a first look video, not a review, but on Draft Day Sports Pro Football 2023. Um, our website is gmgames.org, so please check it out. We're keeping lots of games up to date as they come out in this particular one it's the new version for 2023 we do these videos around the pro basketball college basketball college football as well so first look here at pro football let's talk about some of the new features within this new road to mvp play mode so this sounds like it's more of a pov version where you're going to be an individual versus a team that's going to then let you go and try to build this character into some sort of MVP. And that seems to be one of the biggest features in this game. And that's a lot of energy that they put into that. Um, the other changes are player and team trophy kind of badges to immerse yourself, fog of war for the challenge you're gonna have within the game itself. And a lot of different UI and miscellaneous fixes around the display and, and things that people have asked for are what's gonna show up immediately in 2023. So this game right now is in first access and we have our hands on it. So if the newest feature is this road to MVP, let's make something here and just watch it kind of all play out. So road to MVP, let's call this save. Pretty much the default stuff. You want the real rosters and players, that kind of stuff come through. So we're gonna make this league right now. I've never really played this feature whatsoever. So this is gonna be new for me. And let's see what this actually is like. And then what we'll do is we'll go head back to another save, which is more around teams, simulate a little bit and see what the screens are looking like. So right now we're gonna to need to make a name for this person. Uh, right, let's call this, uh, let's see, so, 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 so fresh. Um, Let's say, let's say the U. So we got Miami there. Quarterback, we're gonna call this quarterback a bit of a uh, dual threat. Now you can change all these settings, which kind of make me wonder why, uh, if you're trying to make the MVP, you have randomization here, randomized vet. You can make it easy for yourself, I guess. Uh, well, if we're a dual threat, I guess we need to be a running QB. That was not preset from that to that. So let's go from this to the next screen. Now, free agency. That'll be interesting to see we wind, see where we wind up. Carolina definitely needs help. We're seeing what's happening in real life. Matt Rule getting fired. Baker Mayfield doing terrible. So let's say Carolina is where we're going here. And let's watch this thing load up. And I'm not sure where our player actually goes. So what we need to do is we need to advance through the portions of the game. And let's take a look at what actually happens. So we were signed as a quarterback. Interesting to see what we can control at this point. So we can complete all the FA days. I don't want to go too far down a rabbit hole, but it'd be interesting to see what actually happens with us and our player and the depth chart and what we see and whatnot. So we're into the camps now. Let's see how far we can take this, this new feature and new mode. How are we doing here? So in camp, did we get a boost at all? Uh, let's take a look at our team, the Panthers. Just for the record, if you want to get the mods, you need to download this stuff. You got to install it in your game to get player photos and stuff like that for uh, Christian McCaffrey. This is an older mod. We used to do it. Just don't have time at GM games to really do that anymore. So hopefully someone else will do that. 
Um, let's take a look at the depth. So that's not allowed. So I guess what we'll do is we'll just keep plugging along. And uh, we got an official view screen here that kind of makes a bit more sense. And where we're at. So what we need to do is let's sim. Uh, not by season, that's quite a bit. And I've been released already. So <laughs> I'm not the best. Now we're going to see if we get picked up by anyone along the way. Right after week one, that's a bit of a stinger. Stinger to the system there. Okay, so are we going to get any news on our player? But essentially, this is a mode that you can go and play around with and see how it's going. We might not get picked up here. And we might just suck. So we're still a free agent. Nothing we really can do. No contract. But we could see it play out. How about we go one season, see what happens here. And then, of course, let's go back to team management and see do the screens look different? How are the box scores? Maybe check a little 2D mode. And then that's where we be, be, we'll be pretty good on the first look video before. There'll be lots of content coming out. People doing Dynasty streams from Wolverine Studios and all that kind of good stuff. But I do want to show everyone a bit of the screens today. So we're getting through the season. Hopefully we can see if our player has had any development whatsoever. I'm curious to see myself if we got picked up and maybe I just had the ratings way too low. Wishful thinking that we would actually be going somewhere. Uh, we're in the next season now where we picked up. No, looks like we're still kind of not really advancing. We don't have the worst skills, but let's maybe sim a little bit more. See if we get anything else. We got staff. Staff. Okay, so we're going to go through a lot of off-season stuff. So with that in mind, we don't want to go too far down the rabbit hole. And we're going to end up going back to a team game. So with Road to MVP, feel free to check this one out. You do have to get your player to be some sort of skill set to be able to be picked up. We weren't picked up in this video, but feel free to look for something else. So let's go back to the main menu. Let's go check out some team building. And with that in mind, we're going to load up um, one of my local files here, something I had earlier. We don't want to kill a lot of time trying to create a new league, watching the loading screens go by. Because uh, that would be super boring. So next up in free agency we're at. I don't think I chose a team. I think I chose Sandbox, a bit of an observation here. Let's complete all the FA days. I want to see some of the games. Maybe we can get into 2D, see how that's kind of looking right now. So training camp portion is in this part of the timeline. We're advancing here, completing the training camps. We're into the preseason now. We're seeing the development gains, the ones, the big jumps that are coming from camps, the ones that are big dippers. Seeing that on the right, this is pretty common for the game. League median highlights, you kind of need to get past a certain point to get performers and highlights. So that stuff will be cool to check out. Let's see though, what happens after we go through some of the weeks. So we have week one out of the way. We have our box scores that have come in. We can watch a bit of the highlights. We can get highlights, sorry, excuse me. You can watch the whole game. You can get the best parts of it. Let's go to league media. What do we have here? I think what we should do, we should probably go about six weeks into the season. Any big highlights? Nothing from the preseason right now. We're going to sim. Keep simming till. I'm not sure if I think I have to sim one week at a time. So I'll do this. Let's go to about where we might be in real life uh this will be dated by the time the video gets watched months out but we're about week six in the nfl season this year so let's just do it anyway okay so niners two and three lions one and four let's take a look at the league media stuff and then let's take a look at some of the 2d stuff and just see if there's anything new that's looking on people's screens here so we've got power rankings we're looking at 
We've got highlights right now. Let's play a big highlight here from Miami and Buff. This is show me which week, probably from the last week, but this is one of the best plays. This is a big highlight here. 67 yard yards to digs from Allen. Now, some of the performers per week, Dak's doing well, Stafford's doing well. Um, we're also looking on the defensive side. You're looking at Stephon Gilmore and these guys in the earlier weeks. It's kind of jumbled around. So I guess the best results go to the top of the heap. So these other results kind of go to the bottom. We got some week two, some week fours. News, expert predictions from some of the uh, analysts, it looks like. What's in the magazine portion? We have fantasy football guides the top 100 players right now. So you're looking at these guys, Mahomes, Brady still in it. Running back position, Dalvin Cook, Dalvin Cook and D Hop and these kind of guys. So let's see what's in the awards. Right now we got Pat Mahomes kind of leading the awards race. And camp results, that's kind of something that's now in the past. We saw that at the beginning. And power rankings, of course. So let's go back to the dashboard take a look at what the box scores look like again and we'll go back a week just so we can see something so KC Seattle had a battle here let's take a look at some other matchups we go down the list Packers Steelers uh, let's pull up something from Raiders and Rams so we're looking at this high scoring matchup we're probably gonna see a lot of Cooper Cup Cup 32 yard pass there so that Wolford is in. Looks like there might be an injury going on. Yeah, Wolford's in for Stafford. He must be down. Carr had to throw 50 passes in the comeback. Akers doing his thing. We got Zamir White. So rosters look like they're pretty up to date. Play by play analysis of what was going on. So that's that screen. Um, strategy and whatnot for Green Bay. Let's take a look at some of the choices for some of the things you can do. So you have different play calling here. You can choose your coordinators. This is all bl blocked off because right now I'm not the owner of this team, but you can do a lot of different stuff. More formations, more packages, more auto. Um, so this is a lot of that custom playbook that you can do which is great for online leagues and for, for competing in that format. So that's really good. So last thing though, let's just go take a look again at some 2D mode because that's kind of, if you want to go really zone in on your games and immerse yourself in what you're doing, it's good to check out. So let's watch some highlights from the Rams and the Raiders and see how this game just pulls them up right now. And uh, let's, let's push this forward see what we're starting at does it start from the beginning is it from the beginning of the game we're looking at in the first quarter right away that touchdown cup so you can go through each of the big highlights so i just press next uh, let's see that might be the big highlight of the game oh no no there's a few other ones but it's just not showing what where we're at in the game here then this shows up, I guess. And then this shows up what the score is. So I guess it's a bit of a surprise. Um, but it's coming up after the fact. And then you're getting the result. So I'm not sure if that's by demand. But anyways, the Rams are just lighting up Vegas right now. We're watching a huge sack from Max Crosby there. Wolford got popped. And so you can kind of get a sense of your team and how they did. It does seem like it's in a linear fashion, but it does seem to be kind of popping on and off. So with that in mind, there's these are the other things that are at the top, signing free agents, signing staff. Um, let's go to some other screens real quick. Try to navigate you around available players. So these guys are on the market. You can try to grab someone late. Let's take a look at scouting the draft. And this is some choices of players you can do in the draft. Um, not sure what it's ranked by at this point, but here's another screen and this is what they're kind of all looking like. So with that in mind, this is Draft Day Sports, a first look at Pro Football 2023 and all these new features available. That road to MVP, check it out. 
check out some of these other things and um, we want to thank you from gm games check out our discord we have over almost 3,000 members on it 350 uh, online users a day i mean the activity is really when the when the content appears but feel free to come join the chats with us and um, we thank everyone for watching this vid so take care we'll be back with another game soon see ya